I feel like the ugly redheaded stepchild in the studio at the moment. So we've got the entire digital team. We've uh-huh. got Sam Stokes plus Sam Stokes boss Dave Landry uh-huh. in the oh, studio now. Get the microphone, now. Sam, because we're going to torture I, him. Uh, the, the, that entire I, commercial break just now uh-huh. was the attack Nathan Pike oh, break. Well, just, we just, just wanted to make sure that you were aware <laughs> of other functions in this building. Since you seem to be a little bit confused about the toaster, I was going to offer to let you know how the water dispensing machine works in the coffee room whenever you're done. <laughs> because it can get a little tricky. <laughs> you know that button that says water. <laughs> if we didn't love you, we wouldn't torture you. And if but... you push the button that says cold, the button does not get cold. It dispenses cold water. Right, right. Just That's gotta good clarify. to know. I'm glad you clarified I saw him standing him. there the other day waiting for it to get cold, and he just kept telling it. I didn't want to say anything at the time, but now that I heard about the toaster incident, I'm a little... If yeah. you guys could have been there in the moment, you see, the whole time he was toasting, he was saying, I hate toasters. Like, why do you hate toasters? <laughs> I've never heard someone say he, they hate toasters. Probably that's the first time anybody in the history of humanity has ever said, I hate toasters. Oh, he was really upset about the toaster. It, it's burning my, my Pop-Tart and there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> what? If there is anyone that will come to Nathan's defense as we torture him today, it's the who? number is 232 <laughs> Or if you'd no, like no. to pile on, you I can was, call yeah, as well. that too. I was just saying, is there anyone? <laughs> well, the phone is ringing. Maybe they want to help you. <laughs> call or go ahead. <laughs> Hello? Good morning, uh, everybody. <laughs> uh, I just think that Nathan can't think straight because he's got the baby daddy cheater. <laughs> <laughs> that is a very valid point. I cannot believe. Okay. <laughs> All right. That was funny. Thank you. <laughs> Caller, go ahead. Kind of in defense. Uh, yeah, the engineers that design toasters need a dose of reality. If you look on the end of it, it's the, the dial you turn about. How toasted do you want? Yes, Nathan, they actually have a setting for that. (laughs) (laughs) But the one we just bought recently, the little picture of the piece of toast that's colored black is the lightest setting. Weird. Bring it all the way over. The little picture of the piece of toast that is colored white is the darkest setting. It's like... Huh? That was backwards, huh? I think you have, I think you have a defective toaster. The one that's all the way to the right is actually a piece of toast ghost. It's, <laughs> it's no longer toast anymore. It disappears. Right, right. If you burn it, you're throwing it away anyway. That's right. it. <laughs> all right. Nathan, love y'all. All right. Thank Bye. you. And then, okay, so they're, they're ragging on me because of the toaster incident yeah, of yeah. 2014. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what I'm going to call <laughs> it. <toaster laughs> one of the top stories so far this year. Yeah. <laughs> when we do our year in review, review wrap up <laughs> yeah. at the end of the year we have Toast to include the toaster incident of 2014 mm-hmm. okay sam remind uh-huh. me of that uh-huh. but now they're 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 hating on me because <laughs> i prefer to microwave my pop tarts instead of toasting but i decided but, to go with the toaster this morning okay but nathan maybe <laughs> me, maybe the problem is that dave and i are way too old school and yeah. sam you'll have to help us out on this what person <laughs> Says to themselves, I want to put my Pop Tarts in the microwave. There are instructions okay. for the microwave. But this should be a clue. Remove pastry from pouch, place pastry on a microwave, save plate, microwave on high for three seconds, cool three briefly seconds. before handling. <laughs> that ought to tell you something. It should be a clue. And you swear they don't taste any different, but toasted Pop Tarts are a dream. They're not gourmet by any means, but they're pretty darn good. By the way, Nathan, the hand sanitizer bottle that I'm holding right now also says, you know, for external use only. And you would kind of expect that for something hand sanitizer. Uh-huh. What it's made for. But they have to put these kind of things on the. <laughs> so for your Pop-Tarts, it's if you happen to consider putting this in something other than a toaster, uh-huh. here's our recommendations on how to not destroy it. Right. That's exactly what it means. But is that first on the box? And take it out of the foil so you don't. Look at the side of the box look and tell the me the if the microwave or toaster instructions are first. It says, let's see, no refrigeration needed. Good. Because people put them in the fridge. And then in bold, Pop-Tarts toasting instructions with, you know, bullet Keep points. Keep out of eyes, And yes. then in bold, Pop-Tarts microwave instructions with bullet points. And then it says, if post- uh, pastry is overheated, frosting or filling can become extremely hot and could cause... <laughs> 
Injuries. Ah, burns. Okay. Which is what I was trying to avoid by well, putting it in the microwave. All morning now. By heating it up and not being able to tell that it's We've hot been until you bite him it. For the last fifteen minutes. I just feel bad for Nathan. Nathan's a toast goes now, huh? Nathan's poor unborn baby that's about to come into the world with no bagels, no egos, no toast, cold pop tarts. <laughs> Poor Nathan, we're, we, we're going to have to really throw you a shower, buddy. Cereal. <laughs> yeah. Cereal, and that's it. <laughs> your poor child. <laughs> Caller, go ahead with your Chef comments. Patrick Mould here. Hello, oh, Chef. No. <laughs> uh, first off, on behalf of redheads everywhere, <laughs> I just want to inform you, Nathan, that the term redheaded stepchild is no longer politically correct. Uh-oh. Uh-oh where is it now? It's, uh, and, and, you know, and second, really, dude, microwave your Pop-Tarts. <laughs> now, I don't condone, I don't condone Pop-Tarts, I don't consume Pop-Tarts, but I even, you know, it doesn't take a chef to know. And it, it pop, just so happens you are a chef. Part, the pop part, you see, it pops out of the toaster. <laughs> I mean, it's right there in the name. It's right there in the name. And they, and they tell you to only microwave them on high for three seconds because it will scald the top of your tongue if you do it any longer. It seems, you know, then you can sue them. And so they're just covering themselves. So... That's my contribution for this morning. That was excellent. <laughs> All right, Pat. We'll see you on Friday. Right, later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. <sighs> I think Bernie needs a moment to recover. Yes, over she here. does. I can't breathe. Oh, that was awesome. Uh, coming up on a forty-seven. Wait a here. minute. What is that? Don't 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 anybody say it. But that revenge thing. I don't think I can want to come to work tomorrow because if tomorrow's my day, I don't think I can take all of y'all torturing me. Okay, is it time now? Okay.